Hello, everybody. This is Alan Underwood with CodingBlocks.net. And in this particular video, I just want to walk you through kind of what we've got going on that we plan on doing here in the near future. So as you know, or if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, we're a bunch of developers. So we sit on our keyboards, or I don't guess we sit on them. We are working on our keyboards all day. And so comfort, speed, adjustability, macros, all those things are kind of important to us because, I mean, you, you want to squeeze every bit of efficiency you can out of, of your setup when you're a developer. So with that said, I wanted to share a few of the keyboards that we're looking at potentially picking up and doing reviews of on this channel. So if you're interested, take a look at this. And, and I'd really love to get your feedback if there's another keyboard out there that you would be interested in seeing and is not on this list, you know, let us know. And maybe that's something that we pick up and we try and review in the future as well. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of what we've got in our, in our little shopping list right now. So the first one is this Kinesis Freestyle Pro. And I have to admit, on the surface, this one doesn't look all that exciting, and it's really just a keyboard cut in half. So the thing is, in order to make this one really worthwhile, at least in terms of what I believe we need, you kind of want this tinting accessory that goes with it. And this is what allows you to kind of set the thing up at an angle, tilt it, tint it, and all that kind of stuff, right? So I think that's a necessity if we go with that. So that's, that's one of them that is on our list right now. The next one that I want to bring up, and this one is sort of one that, that we've all somewhat been curious about, but I think none of us have wanted to pull the trigger on because it's not a cheap investment, right? Like at 320 bucks, this is, this is weird, <laughs> just straight up weird. So the thing is, though, if you look at this keyboard layout, it's it's con cave okay, convex. Uh, you know, I don't really I can't think of the right term for it at this moment, but it's curved in. Right. So this isn't flat like most keyboards and it's got keys for your thumb. So instead of your thumbs just being spacebar bumpers, they can now be more functionally included in your typing. So, again, I mean, it's it's an interesting keyboard and the people that I've known that have used it love it so it's on our list it's it's definitely going to be interesting and one of the things that stands out is again it's 320 bucks and because it is kind of wonky some of the things that are important are the build quality and, and all that and this thing does use mechanical keys it's supposedly built like a tank it's compatible with Windows and Mac so so you know maybe it's going to be a solid offering so that's one of them on the list. Uh, this one also, I believe, yeah, this one's also mechanical. This is the Cherry MX Silent Red ones. So these are probably good for an office. On this one, uh, on this particular keyboard, I am definitely on the fence of whether or not I want to go with the Cherry Brown, which from what I understand are more like the tactile. They're not as clicky as some of the other ones. There's that. And then they have the silent red. And honestly, I'll probably go with the brown. If I'm already going to be getting one of the silent ones, then I, and then I want to check out the other switches as well. So the next one on the list is this Logitech. This is a new offering from Logitech. And this is way more along the lines of standard, traditional, ergonomic split keyboards. This thing looks pretty amazing. It's definitely more of the chiclet style keys, which are similar to maybe like a 2013, 2014 MacBook Pro. This is what these look like. I haven't put my hands on them yet. But as you can see here, it's the full blown keyboard, right? It's got your standard set of home keys and your, your, uh, your arrow keys and all that stuff. So this is absolutely a traditional keyboard. So Definitely on the list. This one's wireless, so I don't know how how incredible it'll do for gaming and all that, but it does have a tilt feature in the front, so that one's on the list. The next one is this one, and honestly, this one's funny. Like, I'd never even heard of these guys before, but it's, it's $40. It's $41. Like, that's cheap, and it looks like a decent layout. 
I doubt that it's got, I doubt it's mechanical keys. These are probably just your regular, it says tactile keystrokes. So this isn't going to be any of your cherry switches or anything like that. But for 41 bucks, I mean, there's, there's 3,250 or 300, 2,000. Oh, wow. Let's try that again. 3,235 ratings and mostly positive. So definitely worth the shot. Who knows? It, it may end up surprising us. And then this last one here that I've got on this particular list, this Microsoft has made some fantastic ergonomic keyboards in the past. As a matter of fact, they put out one of the original, the OG ergo keyboards that now sell for like 200 bucks if you can find them. It, so they know what they're doing here. And this is a good looking set of, uh, of keys here. Now, again, I doubt this is any kind of cherry switches or anything. This is this is going to be the the Microsoft set of switches, which I think are more like rubber based or whatever. But as long as it has a decent feel, then that's all I really care about. And one of the important things to call out here is on this one, these top function keys, these are standard keys. So one of the complaints that I have on the surface that I or the uh, sculpt ergonomic that I have is the function keys are like they're not the same as the rest of them. But these are full blown keys. These aren't chiclet keys. So definitely interested. And then one other one I want to point out that I just said. So the sculpt ergonomic. I actually own this keyboard uh, and have had it for a little over six years right now. So I'll likely be doing a review on this one as well. And Wow, that's a terrible picture. But these are the chiclet style keys, but that top row is not the same keys that the rest of the keyboard are. So that's one thing that a lot of people complained about. I don't love it, but it hasn't really bothered me. Again, I've been using the keyboard for six years. So those are the ones that, at least from Amazon, that I've seen that we picked up. There is one other one that has been interesting. Freestyle this RGB one. So I actually went back and forth whether or not I'd go for the pro versus this one. And honestly, this one looks way cooler and it probably has the same cherry switches on it. So I don't know. I didn't include it because it's essentially the same thing as the pro, but you know, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If, if you'd rather see this one instead of the pro, then, you know, maybe I'll pick that one up instead. All right, so now on to some other ones that you can't find on Amazon because they, they don't sell them there is these. So the first one I want to talk about is the Ergodox. So if you've never seen this thing, it's definitely an interesting take on keyboards. So there's a couple of things to call out here. One is this ortho linear thing. So you can see here the keys sort of go up and come back down at a curvature. And that's because your fingers curve. And some people rave about this. They love it. Some people say it's kind of awkward to get used to. But then I've read people say that, you know, it took them a little while to get used to it. But then once they did, it was hard to go back to another one. So this is one keyboard that I'm definitely looking at getting and before I click on this, let me open this one up in a new tab and we'll talk about it in a second. But I'll show you the, the configuration that I'm at least considering here. So I'm never buying a white keyboard because I don't know if you've ever seen them after about a year, but they look disgusting. And I just don't really want to deal with that. So I'm going to get a black keyboard. I do want the LED compatible ones because that's really sweet. And I'll show you why here in a second. I do want the tilt kit. I want the wing rest. Don't want the shine because if you choose the shine, then the glow goes away. So the difference is this shine is like this glow that comes off the back of the keyboard. So it looked cool for ambiance, but to me personally, the keys shining is a little bit more useful and you can see there the price it, it just popped up so that entire configuration isn't cheap right like this is back up into the kinesis realm um so this is what i'm looking at doing for this set right and it does do the tilting the the tinting and all that kind of stuff so that's good uh one thing to note here these extra key modifier switches in case you are looking at getting this yourself know that this $20 only buys you like this row right here, this row, this row, 
in that row. It's not the rest of them. So don't get all excited thinking that you're going to get some cherry browns and then some other ones and you'll be able to swap them all out. That's not how this works. So this is definitely one of the ones that we are looking at picking up because it looks pretty fantastic. Now, another one that we've already ordered and <laughs> this thing's being hand built right now is the Moonlander. And this thing looks absolutely phenomenal, at least in my opinion here. So this one is based off that Ergo Dock setup, but they've made some changes here so that this thing is probably more comfortable for a larger audience. So these, these rests here, first off, one thing is you can't just customize every little bit of this. Like you kind of get this or you don't which is nice because that ergo docs, yeah, you can get it without the wrist, the wrist rest, you can get it without other things. This one's just, you know, what you see is what you get. Now, the interesting thing about this is one, you can use it just one half at a time. So if you're doing your work during the day and then you want to do some gaming later, you can unplug the, the right section, keep your WASD keys over here and just set this one off to the side so that you can bring your mouse closer to where your, your movement fingers are. So that's really nice. Uh, this, this is also ortho linear. That's all good. Different key switches. That's fine. But really want to, what I wanted to show you is don't care about that. Don't care about this. Where is it? It's down here somewhere. Ah, here we go. So if you look at this, this thing is set up to fit people with different size hands. So they show you, like if you have smaller hands, you can set it in this position and it sort of angles things in a different way and you can do it and it'll actually tilt in the opposite direction. So I think this was actually for larger hands. This is for smaller hands. So you have a keyboard that really will adjust to, to how you work best, which I find to be pretty fascinating. And then the thumb module is also really interesting. So instead of having a bunch of little keys like the Ergodox does, so if we look at this thing here, right, like it's got two large ones and it's got these other ones out here. And I, I don't know, I'm curious to whether or not my thumb's going to do well trying to reach out to those. On this, you just have three big keys and then one like macro key that you can push here. So that's really interesting to me. And then the very last keyboard that I've seen, and I don't know that I'm going to get this one or we're going to get this one. Uh, let me see, Ultimate Hacker Keyboard. At least not initially is this thing. So this was recommended for us to take a look at. And there's, there's a couple of reasons why I think I'm going to hold on this one, at least for right now. And it's because one, it doesn't really seem to be complete. So what I mean by that is this, they have, it looks like it's got all the features that some of these other ones do, but these things right here, these little modules that are really what are sort of the thing that make this thing special. If we try and go look into these things, um, we go to shop, maybe it's up there. So if I click on this thing, it's going to say it's under development, right? That seems to be a common theme on almost all of these. This is under development, expected later. This is under development. So while this one was recommended that we take a look at, I'm definitely curious about it, but, but that, you know, every single module is under development is sort of a, it's a little off-putting, right? But the other thing that kind of has me just sort of like, eh, I don't know, is when you look at how expensive some of these add-ons you could easily get up into the $500 realm with this thing, right? So your ultimate hacking keyboard starts at 275. Your palm rest brings you up to 350 immediately. And now if you add any one of these other modules, you're already over 400 bucks, right? So let's say that you get a left and a right module, you're going to be up there into the $470 ballpark. And that is not cheap, right? And in considering some of these other higher end keyboards that we have on here are, they seem to sit in that 350 realm. This seems like a little rich. So just to kind of wrap this up, I'm definitely only looking at ergonomic keyboards at this point because both Joe Zach and myself have had issues with our wrists in the past. So 
you know, he's had multiple surgeries. I have never had that because I switched to an ergonomic keyboard earlier, you know, much earlier and my wrist pains and all that stuff went away. So I am really only interested in looking at these, these ergonomic designs out there and finding which ones at least work for me and comparing them and all that kind of stuff. So the plan is to individually review these things, let you know my thoughts on them, what worked well, what didn't, what didn't feel good, what felt great, whatever, right? And then probably having some sort of shootout at the end of it and saying, okay, so so we have these, you know, 10 keyboards here, you know, ranging from relatively inexpensive to, you know, wow, that's not cheap. And and giving that giving at least our feedback on what they are. So if you have anything that falls in this ergonomic world of keyboards that you would like to hear about or see, let me know in the comments. Definitely share that down there and we'll take a look and see if we can find them. Maybe we'll pick them up and do some reviews. So, you know, just wanted to give you a heads up of what's coming and looking forward to doing these and uh, be back soon with some of that. So 